Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video, we are going to learn how to change date formats effortlessly in Automation Anywhere A360 using DateTime package. In the majority of automation scenarios, we are required to use the system date during runtime. For this purpose, we have a date variable available, which retrieves the system date for us. To use this date in other actions, we have to first convert it to a string type variable. To do this, we are going to use the toString action from the datetime package. Here, we have the option to hardcode the date or select a datetime variable. We are going to use the system date. Automation Anywhere provides a plethora of date formats that you can select according to your requirements. Now assign a string variable to store the output. Let's get a message box action to display the same. Let's run the bot and see the output. Now, suppose the format you want is not available in the pre-built list, you can select the custom format option. To provide our own format, we have to use the syntax as shown on the screen. Visit the link in the description to learn more. dd-mm-yyyy denotes the date in the format day-month-year. Let's run the bot and see the output. If you wish to display the month in word format, just add an additional capital M to get the first three letters of the month. Similarly, to display the complete month name, use four consecutive capital M's. Small double D's add zero to single digit day value. By removing one D, single digit day's values are displayed without zero. Adding custom formats is so flexible that we can use any characters and symbols to create our own format. For example, adding question mark or backslash. I am fast forwarding this part as it is self-explanatory. If you are finding this video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Suppose your requirement is to find the date 30 days before the given date. To do this, use the subtract action from the date time package. Add the system date variable in the source. In the time value to subtract, specify 30. In the drop down below, we have the option to select the time unit. In this example, it's set to day. Create a date time variable to store the output. Now edit the toString action. Change the source variable and select an appropriate format as per your requirement. Let's run the bot and see the output. If you only want to get month, just mention month syntax in custom format.
If you want to know the exact weekday for any given date, use a capital E in the custom format. Just like the month syntax, three consecutive E's will display the first three letters and four consecutive E's will display the complete word. I trust you found this video helpful. If so, don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe for more engaging and informative content. Your support means a lot.